I'm Jenny Baker, and I work at Carolina Biological, and I'm still stuck at home with the kids. Here's a fun activity you can do at home with things you have at home about osmosis. This is my science helper. Hi, I'm Jordan, and I'm in third grade. These are the materials you need. Warm water, three cups we've labeled water, salt, and sugar, some sugar, salt, measuring spoon, we're going to use a tablespoon, and three similarly sized carrots. The first thing Jordan's going to do is add one tablespoon of salt to the salt cup and one tablespoon of sugar to the sugar cup. Now she's going to fill the cups to the line we've drawn on the cups with warm water. It's about a quarter of a cup. And now we'll mix these until they're almost completely dissolved. One thing I noticed when I was pouring it in is when we put it in the salt one, it started to fizzle a little bit. Mm, very interesting. Now we're going to take the carrots and put one into each cup. We're going to leave those overnight and we're going to come back tomorrow to see what happened. Okay, we're back. We left them overnight. Now we're going to make some observations. They still look like carrots. What do you think might have happened overnight, Jordan? I think that the water one stayed the same. The sugar one, like, it got sucked, the carrot sucked up the water and it tastes sugary now. And the salt one did something crazy and, like, turned the insides to mush or something like that. Interesting thought. Jordan's going to take out the water carrot and see what happened, see if it feels different, maybe try to bend it. It's a little bendier, but it's pretty much the same. Okay. Now let's see about the salt one. Ooh. How does it feel? It's really bendy, as you can see. It does bend a whole lot. Okay. Now let's try the sugar carrot. The sugar carrot is also bendy. It sure is. So what do you think happened to them overnight, Jordan? Uh, I don't know. The one in water stayed pretty much the same. The ones in salt and sugar got bendy. So what do you think might have come out of the carrot that made it bendy and not so firm? The hard, um, the water inside of the carrots. Yeah, the water inside of the carrots might have come out and made it more bendy. Kind of like when a plant loses water and it gets floppy and it wilts. This is a fun experiment you can do at home and you can see the difference between plant cells when they're in water and plant cells that are in salt water or sugar water and how the water comes out of those cells and it makes it a little bit more floppy like a plant when it wilts.